come with me for a bit. Come on then. Alright. So I think this will be easier. I'll just put me and Pippi on the desk. There you go. You can just rest there, can't you? Yeah. So guys, I'm not sure if you can um, if you can hear me or see me, but we're getting we're getting uh, people on online now. So I'll wait a few more seconds, we'll get a few more viewers through. Hey Kim, hey Victoria, hey Haley and Puka, Memblog, and a few more coming through. So I've uh, I've cut my fingers, so sorry about the the thing there. Tissue paper. So then, Pippi had an accident last night, didn't you? Well, she had two accidents actually. One in the morning, and one last night. So I'll tell you the little story as it goes, because my wife found it very amusing. So it was about. It must have been about 11 o'clock last night. Pip normally sleeps in the bed with us because she's, you know, real soft and she doesn't want to sleep in a cage. So she comes and sleeps with us. She normally sleeps right next to my head um, in between the pillows. And um, basically, I, I ended up waking up last night thinking, whoa. I'd, in a nutshell, I thought I'd weed the bed. I went to the toilet and I checked myself and the side of my boxer shorts were absolutely soaking. Um, and I was like, oh man, I can't believe this. I'm 31 and I'm, I'm way in the bed still. But Pip was lying right where um, my leg was. And she was basically lying where this water, or, or what I thought was water, because I didn't know if I'd weed myself or if it was urine or, or sweat or what. So... Anyway, I went to the bathroom, sorted myself out. Pip at this point had went to the um, to the other side of the, the bed and she started chilling out there. Dried the bed off and everything and thought thought nothing of it. My wife thought I was crazy. And then early in the morning, about four o'clock, I heard my wife shouting <laughs> about Pippi. Saying, oh, I know you've done it again. And I looked, I was like, well, what what's happened? She got up and basically where Pip was lying is where... Um, it was wet again, so that's when we knew Pip had actually weed the bed twice. Um, and I asked her what she'd done, and just like now, she she was ignoring me, pretending to do that that little thing what they do. Um, so yeah, she she had a she had a had an accident twice over. I don't know if she's been feeling too well because if you remember us saying she had that um, she had that problem a few days ago where she um, was like sweating or what's the word like drooling a lot um, from her, like her mouth and stuff so I don't know if it's related to that I'm not sure what it is to be honest with you but I think she's alright now she's she's had a little moment and stuff she's been moaning at me but um, yeah that was the, the little accident that she had Sit, sit, Pippi. Come on, sit, so people can see you. There you go. So she had a little accident, and that was the end of that matter. And another thing, what I've been up to, guys. So as you can tell by the the title, is obviously a bit a bit of an announcement to make. What I was going to do with the channel, I'm not going to do no more because I've originally was thinking about doing like. Um, so I'm into gaming. I like, I like to do a bit of gaming and I wanted to talk a bit more about my career in the Royal Marines but the reason I've now thought against it is I want to keep this channel pretty much unique to Pip I don't want to give you loads of um, don't want to give you loads of content that on, on stuff that you might not really be interested in so I've created a different channel for that um, and it's going to be me talking specifically about my life in the Royal Marines um, a little bit more of a of a channel based around me, so to speak, and uh, yeah, I just think it would be better to create a separate channel on that matter. 
so the link of that channel is in the description um if you please could show support on that channel i'd really appreciate it because you guys have been great so far i'm going to be talking about um what i got up to in the marines when i started it's it's a long story i could write a book on the matter to be honest so if you're interested in that um which a few guys have showed interest before and if you like military things and you want to hear some crazy stories then please sign up to that also if you like gaming and you like live streaming and all of the latest games and stuff that's where you're going to find that content as well so i hope you can understand why i'm going to keep it separate because this channel is your channel for pippy i don't want to lose any subscribers or anything by me putting content on this channel that you might not want to see um but please drop us a comment in the um in the comment section let us know what you think about that idea but i would really really appreciate your support um i'd really appreciate you showing some love on that channel as well because i'm today we hit 300 subscribers which is more than i thought we'd get on the channel in in this time frame so i'm really pleased about that and um yeah hopefully we can do the same thing on that channel sorry guys i'm just trying to sort my phone out so you can see pippy here yeah so that's what we want to do and that's what i have done so all you have to do is click the link in the description um and just press that subscribe button guys drop a comment when um, i've got a video on there as well let me know who subscribed to the channel just so i can say thank you but as always thanks for the the support you know i think the channel's going well where it wants where i need it to go it's doing really well and um hopefully you guys feel that it's your own community now that you can get something out of it and you can you know share pippy as well because some people have, have mentioned that they, they would love to have a dog but they can't have one because they're in a flat or their housing restrictions or their work commitments and stuff i've been getting loads of positive feedback on instagram and everything saying that they're really happy you know that they can view the channel see pippy um even had one person the other day um mentioned that they have um what's the word i think it was asd uh, i'm not sure what that it's a medical condition and pippy really relaxed that person so credit to that person for for having the the courage to be able to say that it's helping their health as well um and and also we feel really glad that it's actually doing that for some people we take for granted that you know these might just be silly videos to some people but for others it can be a real meaningful part of their day so it's um it's really good if the link in the description's not working, wait out. I'll, um, hang on, actually see if I can get a link to that. Bear with me, guys. I will see if I can get a link to that now. So, yeah, two seconds, I'll, I'll see if I can get, see if I can get a link to that. Pippi's feeling sorry for herself today. Right, where are we at? Where are we at? <clears throat> right, so, because I'm not very computer literate, <laughs> I need to work out how to share this thing now. So, I think this is going to work now. Right, so do me a favour, whoever that was, I think it was Mimblog or whoever, if you could click on the link in the description please and let me know if that's worked. I've, I've just updated it. And if not, I'll just literally have to think of something else and, and plan it. Wow, we've got 11 people on the stream. Awesome, man. Yeah, so, hey, while we're doing that, if I'm going to read some of the comments anyway. Hey, thanks, Jim, for the 300 subscribers. Yeah, really happy with that, mate. Um, Mimblog, link isn't working yet. Hopefully that's fixed. If not, let me know, please, guys. Pip's just putting a bum in my face. Uh, Victoria Lewis, we definitely want a pug, me and husband loves them. Yeah, I know loads of people, you know, since since doing the videos, it's surprising how many people actually want a pug. 
Um, but I, I mean, you can see why they're just lovely, lovely house dogs. Really, the, there's no really, um, no real maintenance apart from the hairs. Um, Haley and Puka, PTSD is post traumatic stress disorder. Yeah, it it wasn't um, it wasn't PTSD. It was um, it was something else. I can't remember. I don't want to say what it was because I, I can't remember. But it wasn't PTSD. But yeah, hey, PTSD. That's a subject that I'll be talking about on my other channel because I've lived and worked with uh, members of the, the the armed forces in in Great Britain who have suffered, you know, quite chronic post-traumatic stress disorder and believe it or not one of the one of the best ways that I've seen um, treat a, a PTSD is actually having a dog owning a dog has calmed loads of people down in the military it's having that um, it's just having that thing to focus on really and they, they are really calming you know I've found Pip to be really calming for me since coming out of the military um, she's helped me a lot you know Come on, get yourself comfy. There. What have we got? So, yeah, she's adorable. Hilly and Puka. Uh, Victoria would like to get a pug, but one love huskies. Pip, here's a story about huskies with Pip. The reason she's so boisterous and confident, she grew up um, on a commando base up Scotland called 4-5 Commando, which was in our broth. And in the room, the same room as Pip when she was a puppy tiny, she basically um, grew up with a husky. And that husky was a fully grown adult and it used to bully Pip. So Pip learned the hard way um, up Scotland. So she might look pretty and timid, but she actually, she, she grew up with a husky and that's why she's so boisterous. And in the end, she ended up bullying him. And then we moved back down south into Plymouth, 30 Commando. And in that room, what we shared, there was a, a Rottweiler, an old school Rottweiler, big massive thing. And um, yeah, she, she learned a few lessons off, off, off that dog as well. So she's accustomed to big dogs, but Huskies are, are awesome things, if you can cope with the hair. But to be, to be fair, the pugs probably molt just as much as Huskies do. Um, what else we got? She's embarrassed, probably told the world she weed the bed. Yeah, yeah, she's... Yeah, everyone knows now, Pippi, that you've weed the bed. Twice in the same night. That's why you don't want to talk and you're acting all shy. <laughs> Come on, look at the camera. No. She's feeling sorry for herself. Um, some have service dogs for it, like Lexi. All oh, right, yeah, I've never, I've never checked that. I'll check that channel out. Thanks, Haley and Puka. Yeah, she's shy. Tracy Chambers, your career in the military just as important and interesting. A lot of people join, but unfortunately for the wrong reasons and can't stick it out for the long haul. I have family in all branches. Well, Tracy, thanks for all your family's um, service in whatever branches that they joined in. Um, you only get a true kind of understanding and, and almost respect for the military when you leave. I mean, I know I did. I got a different kind of respect for it. Um, once I left and yeah it's a it's a strange one the military it's it's such a dynamic and um, what's the word there's it's it's a whirlwind man it's like a big massive roller coaster of I was literally in my first couple of years thrown into an environment that one you've got to make the grade you, you've got to pass and, and become, you know, becoming a Royal Marine isn't easy. It's one of the hardest things you can do. It's the hardest thing I've ever done. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to doing that channel and speaking a lot more about it. Jim Timber working out. Thanks, buddy. I hope you're well, mate. I hope, hope Poland's going good for you. And um, let us know how the lockdown's treating you guys, if, if, it, if at all it is um, affecting you guys. Oh, by the way, Jim, your channel, when you did a shout out to me, buddy, I noticed, you know, I was at about 340 subscribers or something at that point, And since then, which is not long, you've, um, I've, I've gained an awful lot of subscribers. So whether that's down to the channel or not, I'm not too sure, but I certainly have had a lot of comments from people saying that they got sent my way from you. So thanks, buddy. It really does help um, people grow. And like I mentioned earlier in one of my other videos, there's a bit of a, how can we put this? 
what's the right words? It's kind of frowned upon to ask for help on YouTube when you're a small channel to bigger channels. But I don't think it's it should be. I th when when I because I know we'll become bigger. When I get to a, to the point of where I can help others grow, I'm certainly going to be giving shout outs all the time and letting these channels grow because we all have to start from somewhere, and it's getting harder and harder now on YouTube. So I don't mind the shout out business. I'll I'll do it to every, to anyone who asks really to to give them. It only takes 10, 20 seconds. So I think it should be done more on YouTube to be honest. Um, so thanks for that, buddy. I really appreciate it, Jim. Um, 300, where we are. Ryan, tell everyone about the red spot on Pippi. Yeah, so I, I think I've mentioned it in another video, pardon the finger, which I've cut. Pip's red spot here. So it's not a spot, it's it's a dot. And what's the what's the powder called, Ven? It's like a, it's a, it, in, in the Tamil, in, in Hindu, um, culture and religion there's certain things that you do and one of the things when when they pray I don't know t too much about it my wife's my wife's a Tamil and um, when they do prayers they put like a dot on the head so I had one on earlier when my wife did prayers today because it's a Tam it's the Tamil New Year's Day today so she did prayers um, I put a dot on her head she put one on mine and most mornings really when they do prayers downstairs my wife puts a dot on her head there, so it gives her a little, a little blessing, and that's why she weaves the bed every night. <laughs> what breed of dog would you get except a pug? That's a good question. That's we could do a whole new video on that if you wanted. I guess if I was still in the military, um, on a full term basis anyway, if I was still in the military, because you've got your own space, you've got your own room. I'd probably, I'm not, hey, I'm not sure, I, I would probably consider getting like a big dog, something like a Doberman or a Rottweiler, you know, just to be a little bit more, I could be a little bit more active with that type of dog because we're out running all the time and on the moorlands and we can, we can stay, I would have a dog that's robust enough to be able to stay a couple of nights under the stars. Now, although Pippi would love to do that and she probably would be able to, she wouldn't be able to do it that well because pugs overheat. They get really cold easy. They've just got so many problems. I mean, this dog truly is a house pet. You know, she's she loves it outside, but she's really, really so accustomed to being indoors. So I would have a big dog. I'm not sure what what dog do you think matches my personality? Drop us a drop us a comment. Uh, never use huskies and big fluffy bullies. They're not really, but it's because pips. Pip's such a dominant dog, even from as being a puppy. Ask, ask my family. I mean, Mim blogs online at the moment. I think, and she's my sister. She owns Pip's mother. Um, Pip's been like that since a, since a baby. So she brought that out of the husky. I think. Um, so I'm just reading through your questions, guys. Sorry. Yeah, the weather's nice in Wales. Yeah, I used to love Wales. I spent many time, many months at Senny Bridge, or as we like to call it in the Marines, Senny Fridge, because it's always cold. Always cold. There was a wood block in Senny Bridge, or Senny Fridge as we call it, um, called, we used to call it pork chop wood. Now that wood, no matter what time of year, whenever you walked into that wood, it was always about 10 degrees colder. It was freezing in there. Fond memories of Wales. I, I, I like the place a lot. Jim Timber, all well mate here and the virus seems to be contained for now. That's good. Glad to hear about the shout out help. Yeah, it really did help, buddy. I, I really appreciate it. Once I get to the point of where I can, you know, start recommending other people to channels, I've already done it to you, but once I get big enough, I'll be doing it again, my friend. Helium Puka, for me, a black cat, a tabby, except a husky, it would be a German Shepherd. Yeah, really nice dogs, really, really nice dogs. You've got to be a proper dog person to, to be able to cope with German Shepherds, though. They're lovely dogs, but you need to, you need to be quite a strict, quite a strict person and, and disciplined with them, don't you? Happy Tamil New Year. Thank you very much. I'm married into the culture, so I'm used to it all now, but 
we're getting people saying happy Tamil New Year to you, Benny. Oh, thank you. She, my wife says thank you, and Pip, as you can see, is not bothered whatsoever. <laughs> hey? Are you not going to move about a bit? I'm sorry, guys, she's not facing you, but she's not playing ball today. Kim Springer, hey, how are you doing? Sadie and Zeus, how Germans get along great. They are partners in crime. And partners in crime, they must be. That, they are, that's awesome names. Sadie and Zeus. Awesome, man. Has any of you guys on here right now thought about putting more content onto YouTube then because of watching Pippi? Or do you already put content out? Let me know. Yeah, Tracy, she's not feeling too well today. Peed the bed a few times when her stomach's upset. Yeah, I think she has had an upset stomach. I'm not sure what's causing it. I don't know. It's, it's a mystery, man. My mum had a German Shepherd. Awesome dogs. Sadie is a pug. Right, okay. That's a nice name for a pug. I think today we've had we've had nearly 30 playbacks on this stream which is the most we've ever had so slowly but surely we are growing which is a good thing and i can only thank you guys for doing it let me know anyway guys has how's this channel benefited you in any way if if at all what's it what's it doing for you because although we've only got like six viewers concurrent on the stream at the moment that must mean something for you guys. If you're actually here right now, that that must mean something. If I'm if I'm on a channel, and I'm viewing for that period of time, it's because I'm getting something out of it. So I'd be interested to know what you're getting out of the channel, because if I if I understand what you're getting out of the channel, I can provide more of that. You know. Um, because at the end of the day, I'm, I am new to this, and I am learning as well. And the aim is to take it to the point of where I could probably do this more full time. So Haley and Puka, it was going to be put down so my mum adopted it. Oh, that's really nice of her. But sadly later her husband at the time it wasn't born yet and he kicked her out and I locked the gate. Oh, I didn't I didn't get content before I found you. Right, okay. And you put the name Jesse, that's a nice name. Bye, got to take care of hubby, breakfast time. Okay, Kim, thanks very much for coming across here anyway. It's always nice to see regular regular names on the um on the channel, so I really appreciate every second you're on here. Take it easy, Kim, and have a have a wonderful day, mate. Tracy here in V8. We had an 80 and sunny 30 miles wind, snow and rain in the past week. Wow. That's crazy. Thanks, Haley and Puka. Appreciate the comment. Vicky, hope you don't mind me calling you Vicky. If not, just tell me and I'll wind my neck in. Always keep me and Sean happy and always nice to have a happy face and a cutie pie, Pippi. And she's kipping now by the looks of it. Yeah, <laughs> she's going to start snoring. Can you hear the snoring, actually? Pippi, is it? It's, it's a bit rude to go to sleep when you're actually on a channel, mate. There, might be able to see you that a bit better. So our lips healing up now, because she was playing football and she's damaged it a little bit. Yeah, take it easy, Kim. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. Three hundred subscribers. So hey, I guess this is actually kind of. Although we've mentioned about the new YouTube channel, hopefully all of you guys subscribe to that. I'd really, really appreciate that. The link is in the description. Um, let me know if you have subscribed, guys, um, just as a point of reference. And um, yeah, I can't wait to start giving you some content on there. Very, very different content than what you're seeing now, but hopefully a little bit more um, personal and because you you get you you know me a little bit now and Pippi you'll 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 feel a little bit more linked to the content as well um 
Yeah, that's true. V, we all we're all friends on here, mate. But um, hopefully we can start growing the channel. If they can get if we can get three hundred, we can get four hundred. If we can get four hundred, we can get five hundred, and then a thousand. There's no limit. So in the core, which is which is the Royal Marines, we we call it the core. We've got like a a strange attitude to things. We we. It's all or nothing, really. So if we start something, we have to get it going um, to the point of where it's going to succeed. So I have no doubt that it's going to succeed. Um, we're going to put up with a few laughs and giggles along the way and a few setbacks, but, you know, that's how I actually became a, a Royal Marine in the first place, by being good at failing, but, but also being good at overcoming things. So that's the main, that's the main thing to consider. So I can't wait to get to 1,000 subscribers. That's going to be a monumental thing for the channel. Especially when a lot of people thought that, hey, it wasn't going to happen. So that would be nice. But yeah, uh, that's what's going to happen. I'm going to start that channel. Doing a bit of gaming. My game setup at the moment isn't the best. Because I'm I'm not really technical. Um, every, everything I kind of do, I've had to kind of learn along the way and make loads and loads of mistakes because I'm not the brightest spark. Um, but I, I think effort is, is being the main reason that I can get things done but it also means that you make a lot of mistakes along the way um, so I'm going to learn from my mistakes with the new channel from this channel and um, hopefully we can get you some some good content on there as well and grow that subscriber base because there's a lot of information out there that I can give to potential military people it's not just the Royal Marines it's any part of the military or even any type of job you can translate some of the things I'm going to talk about into pursuing something different in your life so for me the, the, the main thing that got me through commando training that I'm going to be talking about is, uh, is a mindset it's, it's having a mindset uh, strong enough to be able to get through things but we always talk about having a, what, what is what is a meant what is it when, when people say you've got to have a strong mind, you've got to be robust physically and mentally, you've got to have a real strong mindset, what does that mean? For me, it didn't necessarily mean obtaining anything else outside of what I already had. You know, at, at 21, 22 years old, you've pretty much got everything in your head that you need to know, cognitively anyway. You can learn new things, but the, the, the blueprint of that person is already made, so... For me, it was a matter of not necessarily gaining something new to become mentally strong. It was getting rid of a few things mentally to actually just crack on. So if you've got something that you want to kind of do, which for me, it was getting a green beret in the Royal Marines, I had to kind of dedicate everything physically and mentally to that. So what do you need to get rid of? For me, mentally, I need to get rid of the thought of going home which helped a lot, it, mean, it meant that I could crack on with the job. I needed to get rid of the, the fear of failing and just accept that I'm going to fail many things, but I need to be strong enough to kind of overcome it. Um, it was about getting rid of stuff as opposed to obtaining things, believe it or not, and I think that's the key to take away. If you want to set up a YouTube channel, for instance, is it things that you need to gain to be able to do that? Or is it things that you need to get rid of to be able to do it? So for me, setting up a YouTube channel, I, I, I all instantly thought of the things that I needed to get rid of. So fear was the first thing, and it was the fear of the fear of being laughed at, so to speak. In case anyone was like, "Oh, what's Ryan doing that channel for now? Why is he doing YouTube?" It was actually get rid of that mindset, of worrying of of criticism. Um, so I got rid of that, and I started a YouTube channel simple as that so if you're thinking about doing anything you think about the things you need to get rid of um in order to achieve that not necessarily obtain anything new to get it done because we've got all the tools we just need to get rid of the baggage if that makes any sense so i'm just going to read some of the comments again and Tracy chambers love the channel it's amazing how many other people you connect with from comments etc Hey, Tracy, that's a good point. You know what I've noticed? Although we're not getting the massive numbers of views, it is steadily increasing. There's one thing that's been consistent from the start is people are commenting an awful lot. So the viewers that we have got 
if we've got 40 views, for instance, we've normally got 40 comments along with that, which says that my audience is quite loyal and the audience on the channel is, is generally like a community, which is better than having a channel where you've got a million views but no one's commenting, you know? I've had a channel like that in the past where people are looking at your videos but they're not really interacting, so it doesn't make it doesn't make sense any any I think so. The fact that we've created a small community around it means that when it does grow, it's going to be growing loyally. So that's a good thing. And what we got, Tracy James. I'm old school. Give me a stone tablet chisel. <laughs> corona made me use YouTube, etc. Right, okay, yeah. I think I think the coronavirus has been, you know, of all of the negatives, the obvious negatives, we've got we've got some positives out of it. We've had a lot of time to reflect, and a lot more people are viewing YouTube as a as a platform to kind of get their viewing material from, as opposed to like normal TV and stuff. It's an alternate way of getting getting your daily fix of TV. I think, isn't it, a YouTube channel? So, yeah, me as well. I think I've I watch a lot more YouTube now as a result, to be honest. So we got Harjeet. Hey Harjeet, how are you doing? How's Saudi Arabia, my friend? Let me know what the lockdown's like over there, Harjeet. Helene Puka, when is Pippi's birthday? Her birthday is in December. And I'm a really bad dog parent. Can't remember the date. I think, when, when was the birthday event? It's terrible. 23rd of December, I think. It was a few days before Christmas. But I'll double check. Can't remember. I should know this, shouldn't I, really? That's terrible. But it's Venny's birthday tomorrow. I'm not going to mention it age because she'll go off it with me. Hey? You can't. Yeah. But you don't know yourself. Yeah. Venny's. My, my wife reckons I don't know how old she is. <laughs> So Victoria, by the looks of it, she will sleep anywhere. Yeah, Pip will sleep anywhere. Do you play things Xbox or PlayStation 4, etc.? As my hubby Sean is good on that. And if I was online, be good to play it together. So yeah, that's why I'm I'm trying to create a different community on another channel, Victoria. So I can put all my links to my my, my different um, streams and stuff, and we can we can get, uh, create another community around that as well because it's gonna that channel is probably going to go bigger than this one, um, in its earlier days because there's a lot more scope for it to grow initially, but longevity wise, this is this channel that you're on now will will probably be more sustainable. But that's a channel where I want to put all of that stuff on. But I'm an Xbox player. That's what I've I've always I've always been an Xbox man. Um. I don't know why anyone would laugh at you. You, you well sport intelligent, got information across in a friendly and informative way. Yeah, Victoria, it's to, so for that comment. It's believe it or not, the fear of like being criticised and fear of of being laughed at and 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 everything associated with you, you know worrying about things. It's 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 almost a personal thing, really. Sometimes it can be ego based. Sometimes it can just be fear of criticism. I don't know what it is, but it's a natural thing, and I guess it's something that you've got to come come overcome really to be able to progress on YouTube. It's it's harder than you if if you're a person like me, quite a shy, reserved person, believe it or not. Um, it, it you find you find it quite difficult to to put yourself on camera, but it's even now it's a forced kind of thing. But it be, it's become more natural. To be honest with you, you got to just try your best, haven't you? But you do overcome it the more you, the more you practice, I guess. Happy early birthday! Hope Ryan breaks you a nice cake or bakes you a nice cake or dinner. So we've got a bit of a story on this, Tracy. My wife's laughing. <laughs> the the reason being is I was, I was dropping some um, stuff off over my mum's and picking some stuff up today, and. I was telling her, obviously, Venny's birthday tomorrow. She says, oh, do you want me to bake her a cake? And I say as well, because my mum's really good at baking. And um, I, I, I didn't really know how to answer it because I thought, well, if I'm going to be getting her a birthday cake and my mum's making it, it kind of defeats the object. So, yeah. If anyone's going to be doing any cake baking, it'll be my mum. And, uh, but yeah, it is what it is. What are you moaning at, Pippi? 
I don't know if you can hear her, she purrs like a cat. I just want some appetizer. You want some apple ties, huh? You chill out, baby. Right then, guys, so how long have we been on now? 36 minutes or so. We've got five people on the stream. Who have we still got on the stream, actually? Six viewers. I'll be interested to know. Look at all that. See? And people say Huskies is bad. Look at that hair. <laughs> what? Can you believe that? Yep. Yeah, it's not Huskies you've got to worry about. It's Pugs. And this is what we have to... We have to hoover the bed and change the bed in every other day. Because this is what we sleep in. Meanwhile... Pippi's wet in the bed. Hmm? Cool. So I think, unless anyone's got any more questions, we might wrap it up. Because I don't know what else to talk about. So, should have written things down. Unless you guys have got any questions for me. In fact, yeah, let's do that. I'll I'll stop talking. And I'll let you guys do a bit of chattering. And I'll answer any of your questions. Anything you want. Double-sided tape for you. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea, that. I just need to get some double-sided tape. Look at this guilty face. Does she look happy or not? <laughs> she doesn't look happy. <laughs> I think it's because you have to sit next to me, isn't it? Hmm? Are you not happy to see me? Kiss? Go and give a kiss. <laughs> She's, my wife's laughing because... She knows that Pip's actually sick, of, really sick of being with She's me at this moment. Me. She's not comfortable at all. I am not. We need to get a proper chill chair when we're doing stuff like this. Can we put the glasses on? Hmm? No. There we go. Hillian Porter said, happy, um, happy birthday, Benny. Thank you. Yeah, I can decorate it. But if I start making cakes for my wife, Pippi will start getting jealous because she wants everything that I make. So I'm going to have to probably make her a carrot sandwich or something. <laughs> We've got a massive carrot downstairs for her, actually. Oh, that's a good point. Six views. Yeah, so um, do me a favour, guys. If you could let me know um, on this stream who's actually... If you've subscribed or managed to subscribe to that other channel, um, that would be great. If not, that's, that's fine as well. If it's not for you, it's not for you. But um, if you want to find out a little bit more about myself, then... Um, it would be great to see you over there. What have I done to my finger? Hmm? You're not happy, are you? You're not happy. Hmm? This dog will sleep anywhere. <laughs> Won't you? She's heavy, weighs a ton. So, although she's really small, Pip weighs about 10 kilograms then? Yeah. Which for a pug is overweight, I think. Evelyn Mendoza, how are you doing? I think this is your first time on the channel, if I'm not mistaken. Everyone, on the stream, please make 
Evelyn feel welcome welcome to the channel so Evelyn um, as you'll see you know everyone's really nice on the channel and um, yeah welcome to the channel please stop by more often what are you licking? Someone's tired. <laughs> and not very happy by the looks of it. Hmm? Thanks for the subscribe, uh, Evelyn. I think you're 301 now. So just for the for the new the newbie on the channel. Um, so the, the video is basically explained today what we've been talking about. You can go when, when the video is uploaded, you can go watch it back. But what we've been talking about is Pippi yesterday actually had a little accident last night. Where, in short, if you go back, you'll you'll see it, you'll you'll understand it in full. But in short, she she ended up weighing the bed twice, and Pippi sleeps with like next to me on on the bed, me and my wife. So she, um, I first woke up and thought that I was sweating because it was a warm night, but then the second time it happened on my wife's leg, we realized it was Pip who had actually weed the bed. So yeah, crazy man. So that was her accident. And then I've had the idea of actually getting, um, I've, I like the idea of, of, of doing another channel to talk about my, my previous career in the, in the United Kingdom armed forces i was a former royal marines commando um which if you don't know what what that is it's basically an amphibious infantry group in the royal in in, in the united kingdom and they are britain's elite in a nutshell it's one of the hardest if not hardest military courses you can do in the world so i'm going to be doing a channel based on that um and as well as that that channel is going to be a an almost gaming channel as well where I'm going to be live streaming stuff. So if you could go and support that channel as well, where you get to hear a lot about, about me so I don't spam this channel, the link's in the description. If you just click on that link, subscribe to it, I'm going to be getting content up there very soon. So I'd really appreciate if you could just show some love on there as well, guys. Um, and that's it. I'm going to read some of the questions again. Yeah, thanks, Tracy, for making Evelyn feel welcome. So Hamilton, you're chatting to lots of people, but only got five likes. Yeah, um, I don't know how. Yeah, we've got 44 playbacks. I, I guess that's my fault, really, for not asking you guys to press that like button. Um, but you know, it's I can't force people to like the the chat the, the the content if if they don't like it. But if you do like this content, please just press that like button. Um, it really does help the channel grow. So the way the YouTube algorithm works is the more you comment and the more times you watch videos back. So not just watching this video, if you watch other videos as well, but you have to watch it for the, for the duration if you possibly can. It helps the channel grow so much because YouTube's thinking, ah, everyone's watching all of his content. They're not just watching one or two seconds of it. They're watching the whole thing and they're watching multiple videos, the comment and the like in it, all of these things actually help a YouTube channel to grow. So, if you could do that for me, that would be great. But I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bore you guys with asking for too much from you. I'm just happy with what you are, are doing right now. You know, supporting Pippi. So, if you could do that, that would be great. But I can't, I can't force it on, on people. Uh, husband wants to know what is actually on the gaming channel. So there's, there's no content on there at the moment. I'm just getting the channel's uh, subscribers up. So I'm going to try and use this platform to get as many subscribers as I possibly can. Hopefully I can rely on you guys to get the subscriber count up a little bit more. Once I've got the subscriber count on that channel up, link is in the description, I'll then start putting content out. So I aim to put content out this week. Um, but I need at least you know 10 subscribers to get some content. The content is going to be based on um, my life in the Royal Marines, I'm going to be talking about if you want to join the military or specifically the Royal Marines, I'm going to tell you how you can do that. And three, physical fitness is a, is a massively important thing in all walks of life. 
primarily the military. So even if you're not wanting to go in the military, I'm going to be doing a whole um, playlist on physical fitness, home workouts, outdoor workouts, loads of different real-time things that is going to make uh, a real change to you. So there's a lot of fabs out there, a lot of different stuff out there. We've got celebrities doing workouts and all of that rubbish. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to be giving you tried and tested stuff that works. Um, physical fitness has is, is be, been a part of my life since I was 13 years old, you know. Boxed for England, uh, represented um, the, the, the Royal Marines, the Royal Navy boxing team. Um, so I, the, the physical fitness that I'll bring on the channel as well. Um, and gaming because who doesn't like gaming now it's 2020 everyone's on a computer everyone likes to game and if you don't like the game I know a lot of people actually like to to view content like that so I'm not just going to be playing um, games I'm going to be talking once I'm playing the games as well so we could I could be playing Call of Duty but talking about how to join the Royal Marines I could be playing Call of Duty and talking to you about home workouts or I could just be talking to you guys about anything you want, really. It's going to be a, a little bit of a vloggy, gamey type how-to channel. So that link's in the description, folks. Evelyn, do you have a pug? No, but I hope someday. So, Evelyn, this one's for you then, buddy. If you could have a dog right now magically appear, what dog would you have and why? In fact, that question is, I'm going to fire that question to everyone right now. In an ideal world, if you could have any dog you want, what would you have and why? Okay, eight likes, yeah, great, that's cool. You were the seventh. <laughs> any kind of fur baby, no one discriminates here. Yeah, hey, good, good point actually. Yeah, if I mean, that's a good point. Sounds awesome, thank you for the information, much appreciated, not a problem, my friend. Just wait for a few more comments to drop in then. Are you getting sick now, Pip? Hmm? So have you got anything else you want to ask, guys, or are we going to wrap it up there? I don't really want to wrap it up when we've had like seven, seven or like maximum nine people on the on the stream today. Forty nine minutes. We've got about ten percent battery life on the phone as well. So I actually think Malamutes, you suit with Pippi, yeah. So if you go on the channel, you go on my channel now, and you check down the. Um, way back a couple of definitely a couple of months ago Pippi's best friends two best friends is uh, two Malamutes a boy and a girl and she grown up with Huskies thinks that she's like head of the pack like generally thinks that she's head of the pack so you've got two Malamutes running behind Pippi following her thinking that thinking that she's the boss of them it's really really good video actually it was when I when I first started so if you search way back on the channel you'll be able to see that video it's worth a it's worth a watch drop me a comment on that video if you watch it as well let me know what you think i'd have a siberian husky i've always loved them but if no huskies then a german shepherd or labrador yeah labradors are really nice dogs they're all all dogs are nice really it's just how you bring them it's just the upbringing really isn't it i think that's the main thing cool well, guys, I think Pippi's sick to death of me talking now, and you guys are probably sick of me talking as well. So I'm going to wrap the video up now. I'm going to say goodbye to you all. We're going to go say goodbye, Pip. Go for a walk. Should we go for a walk now? Might do a video when we go for a walk. But for now, I'm going to love yous and leave yous. We're going to say bye-bye. You're going to wave bye-bye? Yeah. Wave bye-bye. Yeah. Say bye bye. If you have got any questions after this, just drop us a comment and I'll get back to you guys as well. Alright? Cool. Take it easy. 
Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share this video if you can, and check out the link in the description. Peace.